Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another Everyday May video. Today, I wanted to do a good old fashioned foundation review because I haven't done, I, I used to do foundation reviews all the time back in the day, like I'm talking like three years ago on my channel. I used to do those so much. Uh, yeah, and I just received the Giorgio Armani Face Fabric Second Skin Makeup Foundation in the mail and wanted to do a sit down review with you so it is the morning I mean barely it's barely morning it's 11 a.m. and I have a couple of adventures to do today I've got a dinner tonight so I might potentially have a super late night and I'm gonna see how this holds up and check in with you guys at the end of the night and yeah do a review so I had never heard of the face fab fabric foundation but apparently this used to exist with Giorgio Armani it was discontinued and then they brought it back I was looking up things guys I actually did research into this for once be proud <laughs> apparently it was a Kardashian favorite so yeah this is the face fabric foundation they sent it to me in the shade zero it looks pretty light so I might add some bronzing drops to it we'll see how it goes or I'll just be pale today who knows we'll see anyway it is $60 Canadian for 1.35 fluid ounces which is larger size a lot of foundations are usually one ounce so there's quite a bit in here it's a squeezy tube it has this like denim packaging oh I'm so sorry that's upside down isn't it there we go there is the packaging here I like the squeezy tube I think that's great I'm just gonna put some oh my god that's so white that is white Ooh, I don't know how this is gonna be the smell it smells like you know just like the generic no-name brand plain white bars of soap that's what that smells like not the most inviting scent I must say and it says that this is a liquid foundation with light buildable coverage and a mousse to powder matte finish it says it's best applied with your fingertips it says it's buildable so you can apply a second layer if you want more coverage and it says you get a matte finish so that's all it says on the Sephora website it's again $60 Canadian and yeah let's just go right into it I'm gonna apply my Smashbox primerizer and also the L'Oreal I was about to say gloomy the gloomy glotion just because I apply this as a base under all of my foundations um, some kind of glowing concoction and my skin is extra dry so especially if I'm going in with a foundation that I know has a matte finish I am gonna go extra ham on my moisturizing basis so I'm just gonna apply a nice layer of that a nice moisturizing glowy base I'm gonna start with a little dollop here it is a very strange texture like I put some on my hand here and it does it does feel like powder once it's applied it's very odd what I'm gonna do guys I'm gonna take a little bit of my cover effects candlelight drops just a tiny bit just because this is super super light even for me it literally shows up as white on my hand so I'm gonna mix in a little bit of the cover drops and we're going to apply this it's a very weird feeling it feels like I'm applying a primer which is an interesting feeling but it's very soft and smooth I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit more just so you can see as I'm applying it that was super super light coverage I mean I definitely can't see anything I'm gonna apply another layer and just see how that goes maybe that was too much Ooh. It does, it says on the website that it can, that it smooths out the skin, smooths out the pores, and besides the fact that this is like a very, very light shade, <laughs> it's kind of making me look a little bit ill, but I am getting that feeling, like it is a very soft, like velvety feel, and it's not looking so mattifying, it's looking more natural, it's like a very natural satiny finish, and it doesn't have... Like, it, it almost looks like it has smoothed out my skin, not covering anything, if you know what I mean. Like, I can still see all of my, like, veins and redness and freckles, but it's it has definitely given just a smooth finish to the face. How very interesting. And that was with a second layer, so it's definitely lighter coverage. This is my skin close up, so you can see that most of the spots and weird veiny things and whatnot all across my face are still showing up but my skin overall does just have a more smooth look to it this is fascinating i've never felt a product quite like this i'm going to go ahead and apply the rest of my makeup there's a couple of products that i wanted to try so i am going to talk through this i'm going to use the rms uncover up concealer because this has been the concealer that i've been using lately 
and I'm just gonna apply a little bit underneath my eyes where I have a bit of extra dark circles. I've got a little spot right here. So I'm just gonna dot that along, use my fingertips. I'm actually gonna skip powder because I feel like I just really don't need powder with this foundation. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go right onto bronzer. There's these new ones from Jouer. These bronzer duos came out and I wanted to test them out. This is the light to medium palette, the duo. They, it's the similar packaging as the blushes, which I think are so beautiful. And then this is the medium to deep. This is the Jet Set collection. And I kind of thought, oh, maybe they just sent me the two lighter shades of the bronzer. But uh, according to their website, these are the only two shades of the bronzers, which is kind of disappointing because um, I could definitely use this medium to deep bronzer with my tan like if I applied the fake tan I could definitely use that like this is no darker than any of the other bronzers that I typically use so it's kind of disappointing I hope that they either bring out more deeper bronzer shades and expand their collection anyway those are my thoughts on that just because I did use such a light foundation today I am going to use the uh, light to medium bronzer duo I'm going to take my Burberry blush brush and I think I'm just going to dip into the two of them they appear to be satiny they're not necessarily matte and they're not necessarily shimmery they look to me like they have a more satin finish in the pan like there's kind of a glow when you look at it but not chunky glimmers so you can definitely use it as a contour and bronzer in one i wanted to try this new benefit gold rush blush when you first open the box there's a layer of gold shimmer and then once that layer of gold shimmer is gone there's this beautiful kind of light cool tone it says golden nectar blush. I don't know if I'm getting nectar. I'm more so getting like cool pink with some chunky glitters left behind. Oh, it also smells... Wow, it smells really nice. I wasn't expecting it to have such a nice kind of... It does have a fruity scent. I really like that. That's pretty. It's very light. Very, very light blush. It, it definitely looks more warm toned than I imagined it being from the pan, but I like that. It's pretty. I'm going to stick with the powder highlights and use this Annabelle Perfect Glow. This is the shade Illumine. Illumine. Their Perfect Glow products are really pretty. They have really nice bronzers as well. So I'm just going to load that onto my shake bones. I'm going to use a little bit of the Lancome Hypno Stilo in the shade 27 bronze. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that along my lash line. I don't want anything crazy down on my eyes. I'm just gonna define the lashes a little bit and I might just kind of take this brush and flick it out on the ends. Just for a little bit of definition there. Definition. What does it mean? I love these ones, these Lancome shadow sticks they blend out super beautifully they're really really creamy just a little bit on the lashes i'm going to use mascara i'm going to take the glossier lash slick to lengthen and define my eyes and i'm going to apply my lancome monsieur big on top these two mascaras layered together are so lovely my lashes are like very lengthened and thick at the same time. I really like it. I'm gonna set my brows in using the Glossier Boy Brow in the shade Blonde. I'm gonna apply my Makeup Forever 5C Lip Liner. I think I'm gonna take the number... Oh god, the number's rubbed off. I think this is number one. Let me just double check that right now. Number one! So that is the finished makeup look. The foundation looks amazing. It looks like, it looks like my skin. I mean, it's called the second skin makeup, so that makes sense. So this is the foundation. It has completely smoothed out my skin. It has smoothed out my pores and Besides being like a lot more white than my neck currently, which is making me a little bit sad. <laughs> it looks great. It feels great. It doesn't feel drying or tight on my skin. The makeup applied beautifully on top of it. And I'm super excited to see how this wears throughout the rest of the day. So it is now 11.29 a.m. I'm going to wear it for the day and I will check back in with you guys at the end of the night to see how it wore throughout the day. So stay tuned, my friends. Let's just see how she wears. Hello. It's 3 p.m. I'm doing a four, well, three and a half hour check-in, but I just wanted to say that except for my sunglasses marks, the foundation 
hasn't budged even the slightest and I was wearing that silky top and I had to take it off because I was getting so sweaty and none of my sweat showed through the foundation like even my bronzer line is still crisp so this is the three and a half hour check-in oh and I also touched my chin a lot so I'm really impressed um yeah next check-in will be most likely after dinner so very very much later tonight uh but yeah that's the check-in I'm super impressed so far way to go Georgie Alcremane I also don't feel matte at all normally I feel like I need to mist my face and whatnot but uh yeah I'm just overall very impressed right now stay tuned till later goodbye hello everybody it's midnight I'm having a severe allergic reactions to Meryl. I'm sneezing and my nose is plugged but has pretty well remained perfectly for the fact that it's been on my face for 13 hours. 12 and a half? 13? I'm going to conduct my final thoughts in the description box down below but pretty much my basic feeling has been a plus 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 so if you have tried this foundation let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I'm a big fan I need to get a darker shade and I also need to go to bed. So uh, that's it for this review. Thank you so much for watching.